I'm very excited for today because we are drawing one of my all-time favorite animals. The frog. In this case, the tree frog. So let's get started. All right. So this time we will be drawing a tree frog. Um, frogs are like one of my favorite animals and definitely one of my favorites to draw. I'm surprised I haven't really done this yet. So we're gonna do, start out with your pencil, make sure it's sharpened enough. And then um, as we're drawing, don't press down too hard, right? Cause we're gonna be erasing along the way. Erasing is part of the process. Sometimes it's to fix mistakes and it's also just part of how to do your drawing. So we'll start with an oval, kind of at an angle, right? Um, and then another little oval here. Okay. And we'll draw some little kind of stick lines for where the arms and legs are gonna go. This one, you won't be able to see that line because the body will be covering it, but that's how we know where it is, the arm. Even sometimes drawing the stuff that you can't see or you'll erase later is really helpful because then it makes the other parts of your drawing look more realistic. Um, sometimes if you start drawing something and you don't really know where it goes, you can tell that in the finished drawing. Like if you draw a face and then you try to draw hair covering the forehead and you don't draw both of the eyes, sometimes something looks a little bit wrong because that one eye, like you probably see a little tiny part of it. Anyway, okay, back to our frog here. Let's do a big circle here for one of the eyes. And kind of same here. We'll put that there, even though we won't see the whole thing. So now let's try to shape. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move that up a little bit. So the head this goes into the body. We're gonna make this kind of like one big shape. Okay, and then the legs, we're gonna thicken these up. Not a lot. They have pretty skinny little legs. But just a bit. these legs too. Same thing, they've got long legs and long feet. So I'm drawing the toes first so we know where to connect them to. And I'll make some webbing between here too. All right, so now I am drawing over my pencil lines so I can make these more permanent. And as I'm doing this, I'm changing little things that I feel like. Like I'm making that arm a little thicker and then making that a little skinnier. Um, also, when you go to draw over yours, you can always use your pencil still and just draw heavier on there, like press down a little harder or you can use color pencil, marker, whatever you like. Sharpie marker is what I use because it shows up better on the camera so you can see what I'm drawing. But you have to make sure you have permission and you know what you're doing, okay? So, okay, so you wanna give it time to dry. All 
All right. So you can add some other little things if you want. I think I'm going to add a couple little spots and stuff. But basically that is it for today. I hope you have fun drawing this little frog and you've got a really cool one of your own. If you do, please send me your drawing. And I will be back again soon with more animal drawings. So subscribe if you want to see more. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it. All right. Hope to see you next time.